paid for your punishment, slave. I sometimes scream out, no. When really, I mean, yes. Yes, yes! And this is why we have the safe word. Until we hear the safe word, we will not stop. She's not a Christian! No! Safe word with Jason Rouse. Uh, comedy store July first, and then probably some shows in and around LA over the next couple of months. Then uh, an Ontario Canada tour with Yuck Yucks, September October, be like Ottawa, Montreal, Halifax, Mississauga, Toronto, Vaughan. Um, London and some other places in that. But uh, as we take a corner here onto the main road here in downtown Stony Creek, it's a little crazy. There's two lanes here. <laughs> I'm here. I got a guest today. How you doing? I I'm pretty I'm pretty good. Pretty good, yeah. Yeah. Um, we're gonna take a little walk down the Starbucks. Yep. So you uh, you live in Stony Creek. I, I definitely do. And what do you do here in the, the fine city of Stony Creek? I go to school. That's uh, basically you go, it. You go to school? I, I do a lot of school. And what grade are you in? I'm in grade six. Eleven years old. <laughs> Eleven years old in grade six. Is it a yep. rough school? Uh. Hey man, how you doing? I probably don't even remember you. I used to skate with you when we were kids, Mac. Oh, how you doing, Mac? Oh. Down at Beasley and stuff with Scotty and all those guys? Yeah, man. <laughs> I can't miss you. I know. How uh -huh. you been? I'm good. I'm good. I'm just uh, hanging out, doing a little Hi. podcast here. Is this your little girl? This is my niece. Yeah? Hi. Yeah, yeah. Pretty nice. good. <laughs> but we're going to take a walk down to Starbucks. Nice to see you, man. Nice to see you, Have too. Have a good man. one, buddy. Take care. Um, so you did grow up here, so yeah, I did. I spent a lot of time, as you just saw. I terrorized this city for about 23 years. You come back and you still are. Yeah, I do. I do like to turn up the heat a little bit, but um, then enough about me. <laughs> That's how dear the the turmoil and horror <laughs> it is to be uh, 11 years old in grade. What what is it now? Six. Grade I'm a sixth, six? I'm a sixth grader, yep. Very Grade difficult. Grade six. Who is your uh, favorite teacher? Um, That's probably a, a stupid question because kids get asked that. The problem is, is no one has a favorite teacher. Yeah, we hate no, all of them. <laughs> you hate all your teachers? But that's not true. They suck. Some, some teachers uh, have a little more connection with their students over, like, I had a bunch of different teachers, and the, the, the work that they were teaching... I got a lot more from them as personalities than I did over um, what they're teaching. Oh, we almost saw Jesus. a car wreck right there. Like this place is crazy. <laughs> you like grabbed my arm. You're yeah, like, oh, I didn't no. want to get run over. He was coming for me. <laughs> I wanted to push you in front of him. Thank you. So that much. guy almost t-boned the other jackass in the uh, the pickup truck there. Yeah, that got. So do you yeah, want to I give the? The audience, the listening audience here, what the uh, what we're seeing here? Um, the old powerhouse here on our left. Yeah. Do you know why it's called the old powerhouse? No clue. It used to be a uh, powerhouse. <laughs> Great story. Cool story, uh, bro. No, actually, from what I understand, is that this river here, the creek, mm -hmm. if you will, uh, would turn the the thing to give the power to the power mill the water currents this is the worst description <laughs> it really ever. is sorry but uh and then we got a fountain coming up the fountain yeah i should probably really they put you should probably do some like homework on where yeah, you actually where are. are i should have really paid attention but growing up in here you kind of take a lot of things for granted you just see them all the time yeah so this guy is some sort of pil it's, pilgrim? It's uh, Augustus Jones. Augustus Joe? No idea what he did, but he did something, and well, now he's here. Augustus Joe. He's uh, Augustus 1567, Jones, yeah. Augustus Joe. No idea what he did, but he did something, and now he has, like, a statue. So yeah, he's cool. got a, a fountain. Oh, and he's trying to get that eagle to land there on his face or something. There used to be something there, and then... It came off because stupid teenagers stole it, I believe. Oh. And then kids repeated, like, just put, like, uh, beer cans and random things in his hand. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty a sure. I, I'm surprised you a weren't one of those people. A stolen bicycle. Yep. 
And, uh, Just that, think like that. <laughs> you see a lot of crazy kids in this uh, part of the city? Because um, they're different. Stony Creek kids and Hamilton kids. D- yeah, d- very different people, for sure. Hamilton kids different love upbringing. vandalism. They definitely they do. They love the sound of breaking glass and car sirens. But I don't know what it is. <laughs> I was uh, victimized by that feeling for a <laughs> number of years. Yes, you become a product of your environment. You know that. Yeah, I, I'm That's why aware. I tell people, don't hang out with losers. Do you hang out with losers? I try not to. Try, try harder. Try, okay. They'll be the bane of your existence. Bane of my existence. So... But this is quite nice. I used to live in that apartment building there. Yep. Uh, and I went to the first time my eyes ever started to bleed was in that church up here <laughs> on the left. I used to have to go to that church, and it sucked. I, I hated it. I used to go to St. Francis Xavier Church because uh. for the first five years of my school upbringing, I went to a Catholic school actually down the street over there. And um, Uniforms? Yes. What, uh, Terrible uniforms. Yeah, but you know what? When do you get a good uniform? You don't. That, uh, what, give that me, give you me don't. one public servant public that has servant. a cool uniform. Okay, fireman, cool outfit. Not very practical on the beach. Yeah. Um, but Catholic school, the guys got to wear the ties and the white shirts. It was more like just a lot of ugly blues and grays and... Whites and but you weren't allowed to be happy. Isn't that, smiling illegal? But isn't that a kind of a, a relief when you wake up in the morning? You don't have to occupy your mind with that's what, you're what wear. mom said. There's no. I disagree. F- yeah, but then there's it's a, f- a fashion show. But I would rather have a fashion show than look like I'm. You in rather prison. have a chance to be the best dressed kid in school. Yeah, than look like I'm I, some prisoner I, to society. <laughs> Sorry. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, but you you you're always a prisoner of society. Just sometimes <laughs> they give you a uniform. <laughs> It's funny that you noticed that. Whoops. But what you have Quite to... Quite aware uh, of my surroundings. You had to study religion. I did. I know. <laughs> oh, I did. Just, just know. Yeah, just, just know. <laughs> what, uh, what happened? That, uh, not honestly sure. Uh, that was kind of the class where I drew. Yeah. I, I didn't do actual work I did there. that in French nope. class, math class. English class, any class that I could have used in my future life, I drew in. <laughs> I did a lot of drawing in class. I never had an art show, but my textbooks looked amazing. <laughs> I For did, French, I, did. I actually like French. I'm, I get A's in that. Probably the only subject I will ever get A's in, what, but did, I'm doing it. Did you say French or Dutch? French. Oh, French. Dutch, I think that's like, I don't even know where they teach you that. Probably somewhere in high I'm school. guessing Holland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, that's where, like, that's the language you speak there. Like, yeah. we're being taught a second language. Our second language in Canada is French. Do you... U.S. does... Um, yeah, but if, you don't, if yep. you don't go to Quebec, you're not really going to get a chance to use it. So do you have plans to go to Quebec? And- nope. <laughs> nope. Okay, well... All I know let- is I want to get out of this wh- place as soon as possible. What, what do you mean this place? This hellhole called Canada? I wouldn't call it a hellhole, but yes. Okay, so let's just say, when do you plan on leaving? How old are you? Uh, I'm 11 at the moment, not sure yet, when I'm probably a legal adult, have my license. Okay. Have so a let, job. Uh, a ball, job nice. Ballpark number. Uh, let's say 1920. Yeah. You're like, I'm out of here. Peace. Peace out. I'll okay, send bye. you postcards. Except I, I never will. Post- Don't call me, I'll call you. By that time, postcards won't probably exist. It'll all be email. Just everything's email. So you, where are you? Are you on a bus? Are you going to the airport? Where are you going? Uh- Winnipeg? <laughs> where are you going? Okay, you're thinking like 10 years in advance. I'm not, I I'm not sure. But you know that you're leaving, but you have no idea where you're going. All I know is I'm getting out. Okay, yep. fair enough. Me too. <laughs> it took me a long time to actually get out. I you took- did it. Well, but yeah, for some reason, you're back, but you did it. three years, mm-hmm. you know? And by getting out, it was just like for opportunity. Yeah. I didn't have any opportunity here. It was by necessity I had to leave. Yeah. But do you have your ideal dream gig in the future? Honestly, I feel like a lot of people do at my age now, which I, I'm not it's really... It's insane. It's, yeah. Just look on the internet. <laughs> we were talking about those two losers you went to suffer. How much were tickets? Um... Well, 
First the of all, the price that they that we paid for two tickets to go see these two YouTubers who are was, they? Uh, Dan and Phil. I don't like them. Five, uh, Dan five, and Phil. They're about five hundred. They, they don't even have a show title. No, they just, just go just by Dan, Dan and Phil? Phil. Well, the Amazing Tour is not on fire. Was the tour? I the also own their tour, book. What? The Amazing Tour is not on fire. Oh man. Dan is not on fire okay. and Amazing Phil. Well, walk me through this. They got a big following. Yeah. You go to the millions. live event. How, what did they do for a show? They just talk to people? Kind of. There was some, they do music? There was some audience interaction for sure. But a lot of what they did is was... Is videos playing? Well, it was them in real life. It's not like 200 <laughs> kids. There's like a thousand there kids. There was a couple thousand of us there, thousand. yeah. A thousand. And how much were tickets? This is uh, We me paid off. about 500. 500? For two tickets, yes. Holy... Dog About crap. that. <laughs> that's, that's, you know what people pay for me to get in my show? They spit in my mouth when they come in the door. That's. I don't even like not it. Not currency for one. I know, but I, I'll take it where I can get. <laughs> I just want the attention, to be honest with you. It's, I'm dying out there. And these guys, what's the name, Bib, Jim and Bob? <laughs> Dan and Phil. Dan and Phil. Dan and Phil, yep. So you go to the show, and it's just kids screaming. It's probably like, it looks like a Beatles concert. But I compared, uh, I was talking to Brian, my dad, and I said, um, I told him, I kind of compared Dan and Phil to the Rolling Stones. He did not agree with me at all. Well, there's a generational <laughs> thing there. Come on. You know, Dan and Phil, they're not Simon and Garfunkel. I have no idea what that is. Or Justin Timberlake and Joey Jeremiah. Okay, I know one of those humans. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the other's probably dead. Uh, Joey, Joey Jeremiah hung himself at a, at a Toys R Us. Yep, so he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> oh, speaking of dead, is that Flat Rat? Yep. Let's take a gander. Welcome to Stony Creek. Oh, it's a bird. That's a bird. Yep, that is definitely oh, a bird. Oh, and he's facing the wheel. Like he <laughs> I'm looking himself. away. A dead bird. I saw a flat rat over by uh, Grandma's house. Yeah, Stony Creek's interesting with uh, drivers don't know how to drive. Let's just say that. Yeah, but it's look how green it is. You've got all Definitely. This. There's trees still. There's so. trees here. We're not the U.S. yet. Have you yet. been to the States? Uh, once, and I was in, like, grade two. I don't... I prob so I was probably, like, seven or eight. I was oh, I went to Disneyland, didn't you? Yeah, we went to Disney for, like, a week. Only time I think I've ever been out of the country. <laughs> was it hellish? It was... Well, we went with family. Um, it was hellish. So it was extremely hellish. But, like, the rides <laughs> are fun, so... And But from what I understand, because I went to, like, Magic Mountain, or no, Six Flags. Yeah. And we were in line for an easily an hour. Yeah, that did happen no way. multiple times. I don't even like to be in crowds. <laughs> now I'm standing with uh, some kids crying. This kid, the mother's got snot on her face. Basically. It's terrible. So Disneyland. That happened. That's where you want to move to, Disneyland? <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> I am good. Without Disneyland. All right, so let's get back to you leaving town like Axl Rose <laughs> and Guns N' Roses. I don't... Welcome to the jungle, baby! <laughs> you know where you are! No idea. You don't even know that video. I don't even understand what you're Do talking about. you know about. Guns N' Roses are back together? I don't even know who they are. You are know they what? a band? They are They're very a... famous I got band. that! Woo! I, I'm not a fan, personally. I dig some songs, but uh, there's a big hoopla about it because hoopla. they reform. Hoopla, well, that's a new word. Yeah, it's an old man word <laughs> for excitement. <laughs> a little bit of hoopla. I, you, I, I don't even know who you're trying to be in well, this who are you? What do you got in the old iPod right now? iPod? Uh, for one. Top, <laughs> give me top five favorite artists. Oh, my God. This is, you're not, you can't just put me on the spot like this. I understand. <laughs> and I, a lot of people don't like naming their favorite music artists because I'm there's a lot of stigma. I'm stalling. <laughs> a lot of stigma attached to it. I, uh, I like Alicia Cara. Alicia Cara? Uh, pop singer, I guess? Yeah, yeah. well, she, yeah, I guess. I'd is she anything like Lady Gaga? No, thank no? you. Thankfully. Oh, thank she's, you. Wow, she's great talented. Job. She's talented, yes. I really like Melanie Martinez. Melanie Martinez. Melanie Martinez. Let me guess, she sounds exactly the same as the other girl. No, she actually... What's the difference? Um, she's Can you dance to both of them? I, I guess. Do they cry about their boyfriends? <laughs> yep, I win again. 
Clothes are a little <laughs> different. The story's still the same. Wah, wah, wah. Why won't anyone love me? Wah, wah, wah. Well, Someone actually, loves me. Melanie Martinez's uh, album, her newest album, is called Cry Baby. There you go! <laughs> <laughs> what are you, I, how I'm can not you really, argue I'm that? I'm not helping my case here, am I? No. Okay, so Melanie Kay. Martinez. Uh, Alicia Cara, I'm taking out my phone because I have okay. no idea. Um, Just say top played. So I'm not a typical girl, so I'm not that much of a fan Neither of Justin I. Bieber. <laughs> Uh, I actually really like My Chemical but, Romance okay. and Panic at the Disco. So, and That's I really like Tourist Swan. Though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> For you, it, I, yeah. <laughs> I saw My Chemical Romance in Prague. Well, that's pretty awesome. My friend's band opened for them, and uh, I'm I'm not a I didn't. It's not my thing, but uh, you know, I Panic at the it. Disco is like my favorite band of all time ever. Is it? Do you like Fall Out Boy? Uh, Fall Out Boy's cool. Yeah, for okay. sure. So some. Girl pop music <laughs> and then some kind of rock. Uh, yeah, Blink 182. Yeah, kind of Blink rock. 182 and. They, I heard they reformed. They did at one point. No, I think I guess I saw some feed. They're they're doing maybe some small shows in uh, California. There's a lot of cool. older bands now. The, the Misfits. Going back to California and stuff. Yeah. Do you know Misfits? No clue. Great band. You should sounds like a rock band. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Great rock and roll. Also band. sounds like a Christmas movie, but. <laughs> the Misfits. Whatever. It yeah. like. well, give, give me an idea. <laughs> I think that was in like Rudolph. There was like a bunch of toys and there were the Misfits. <laughs> Can you sing to me I don't know. a little what you might think the Misfits song might sound like? They have a song. A lot of screaming. Okay, one, one of the songs is called Die, Die, My Darling. So a lot of screaming. Okay. Like a lot. Well, do it. Give me, give me a I, I'm not going to scream. Go, Die, 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 My Darling. We're in public. I will not do We're that. We're in public. We're two idiots walking down the <laughs> sidewalk. This well, guy at the Hummer is going to run us over because he's <laughs> not going to understand what's going on. Just a, a lot of yelling. Just that, That's it. They just yell a lot. Well... Give I also really chance. like Lana Del Rey now that I'm thinking about it. She's like yeah, my favorite. I like Lana Del Rey. She's like my favorite human probably on She's the She's like my, uh, my, my pop crush. Yeah. Uh, I don't think she'd really like me, though. <laughs> you guys she seems are like different a delic- humans. A diff- like a, a delicate flower. Yeah, she's... V- and I'm a, a, an animal. <laughs> Not <laughs> such a delicate flower? No, but inside I am. I'm a big softy. <laughs> Definitely. I've seen that within the last... You hear me Seven crying years. in the bathroom? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Just casually Don't crying. Don't look at me. <laughs> Go get me ice cream. Yeah. Well. Basically, you in a nutshell. You, uh, but you have interest in show business, don't you? I, I do. I do. So we've talked about some. We definitely you have. have. You know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think you'd be a good actress. I used to do some acting. You do enough of it around the house. I mm-hmm, love you. I recent well actually this year or last year I can't really remember. I dropped out of acting. Uh, dropped out of acting out of Juilliard. No, <laughs> I was. Um, Ew, burnt worm. Burnt worm. Okay. It's black to brown, dirty worm on the sidewalk. That's just wonderful. Um, <laughs> no one's afraid of worms. Oh, you mean Eleanor? Eleanor. Shout out to Eleanor. Yeah. She. Uh, so I you get up kicked one, out of acting say? school for being drunk. <laughs> I wouldn't... Oh, mm. High on gas. High on air, if anything. Yeah. I'm 11, calm down. But um, <laughs> I stopped, and uh, I've... I'm, I'm 11, <laughs> I'm, alive, I'm 11, Everyone calm relax, down. I'm 11. I'll <laughs> handle this. I got this, everyone. I can handle this. You got this. an 11-year-old badge you hold up. <laughs> All right, everybody, I'm 11. I'm 11, everybody. Relax. Um, the shooter's on the roof. <laughs> I'm 11. I got this. I Everyone got relax. This. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I've never heard anyone pull out 11 is a, is a kind of, okay, everyone Like, I have down. a gun. Don't worry. We're yeah. good. Oh, there's a maniac with a butcher knife in the kitchen. Everyone, I'm 11. I got, <laughs> just relax. I got this. Okay, story time. You used to chase me around with a puppet and a butcher's knife That's through right. my house. I was like seven. <laughs> yeah. He chased me and my like probably four or five year old <laughs> sister at the time. He just chased us around with what you, a knife. What do you think knife. you're on the phone with the police? <laughs> no one's listening to this. I got you with the knife. Well, the puppet would. I didn't have any control over the puppet. John Dis the puppet. That's yeah, what that's he named right. him. That, John Dis the puppet. Your sister. I got that puppet. I yeah. Think it was in storage in Sweden or something. 
Yeah, uh, jaundice the puppet. But the, I love puppets, and he and I love knives. <laughs> so you just gave him one casually. So I put the butcher. Well, tell him what I did. Oh, <laughs> he would go into my kitchen, where my si- <laughs> my si- <laughs> my sister and I would just be uh, hanging out in la, the la, living la, room. I'll be your sister. <laughs> la, 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 there would be more crying. La, la, wah, wah. Okay, that's a bit better. So. La, la, wah, la, la, wah. So what we were doing is we were probably just casually watching TV, doing really nothing, and he comes out yelling, "Jaundice is about to kill us!" <laughs> <laughs> and he chased us around. Did I give? Is there any warning screens? Or? <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they're just Nine, being. John, Jaundice is coming to get you. <laughs> That's right. Jaundice has got the knife. Everyone, run! Yeah, and you'd act like he was about to attack you. Well, the knife looks so chase real us. in his hand. Yeah, I it, was, it was scary. I, yeah. I, I still have nightmares about that. I was scared that. too. That was like five years ago. And you still think about that? I, I still the think about Jaundice. That's how I feel. Every day, but he would chase us like, and we, Lola. Okay, my little sister would be crying behind a chair, and I'm trying to calm him down or call for my mother, and he's like, "No, it's okay. It's just jaundice. It's just <laughs> calm down. To, it's at, just yeah, jaundice. Just jaundice. You know jaundice. <laughs> the, the family's dirty secret. That <laughs> bastard puppet that lives in the basement with a knife. La, yep. La, la. <laughs> oh, oh, it's jaundice. <laughs> It's jaundice. Yeah, but jaundice was coming to kill us, apparently. Yeah, but you know what? Hey, so we did that you for a year. Bored. No, you I never, was more traumatized. How many, things, how many times you people Mortified. do something nice for you and you forget about it? Um. Right? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I know I, where you're going with this. Wish that work. is something you'll never forget. As so terrifying you. you. Yeah, it sticks <laughs> in your brain for the rest of your life. If it's terrifying. Do you know how you sound? <laughs> You Does sound like sound some crazy? serial killer. Yeah, I get that a lot. <laughs> I get that a lot. That's an issue. But you know, I I do some you mean well, crazy shit. Kind of. Yeah. My intentions are good. I'm trying to Sometimes. Entertain. It depends on how he feels. A little uh, social unrest. Depends on the week. Yeah, sometimes no one's in the mood for anything, I, I got to say. He has to, like, stab someone. Haha, <laughs> it was just a joke. <laughs> I, it, it's for the it's no it's for my podcast. Don't worry about it. No, just let me record you <laughs> while I stab you. Me, get, okay. Listen, I'm gonna take this. It's comedy gold. I, I, that's it. That's what it is. I'm gonna beat you to death with a bat. Oh, I. But I, I'm gonna record it <laughs> and record put a laugh it. track behind it. Yeah. <laughs> so this is probably like two years ago. Well, I guess you have seen. Uh, what are you telling and- everybody about all the crap I've done? You're a tattletale. <laughs> this, uh, this was a few years ago. Uh, my uncle, his brother, me and my sister were in my bed in my bedroom, and I had gotten a karaoke machine for Christmas. And Jason goes, "Okay, I'm gonna record you singing, and then <laughs> Andrew is going to hit your sister, and I'm going to like stab you or something, or like I'm going to push <laughs> you onto the floor." How was the music? <laughs> and. Uh, my mom comes in like yeah, yelling, no, you cannot do that to my children. No, you cannot do that on yeah, camera. Yeah, you guys are always like, I'm bored. There's nothing to do. And then yeah, I show up with a knife and everybody's <laughs> excited again. You appreciate your life, don't you? <laughs> Not when I'm having a knife to my throat. No, there's no to be knife murdered. to your throat. Don't say that. <laughs> They're going to throw me in the big house. The big house. That, that's a new term. That's the Bart. That's another <laughs> old man turn. It's a big house. You and the kids. Hey, Hoopla. Hey, hey, hey. Still hoopla, I just, I can't. Uh, I cannot it, even. You, know, you can't let that go? <laughs> no, I cannot. You'll be at my funeral <laughs> reading a piece of paper, and what can I say, ladies and gentlemen? He chased me around with the knife for, like, five years. Here's the knife and hoopla. <laughs> and hoopla. He's done. <laughs> His last words were hoopla. What are you You're old man. Are you too old for Halloween? No. You go out? I, I go out for Halloween every year. What's the cutoff year for that? Well... I think... Wait, respectably. Listen, <laughs> everybody loves free crap. When you're like 12 or 13, um, I'm going to be 12 by next um, October. But the thing is, like, I'm very small for my age. Mm-hmm. So my best friend Emily and I, we could probably pass for another few years till okay. we're like 14 because we're super You're a con short artist. Stu- yeah. <laughs> you're describing a con artist for candy. to the system. You're such a Hamilton lady. <laughs> I live in Stony I, Creek. I take offense. Do you? Mm-hmm. You think you're a better person <laughs> if you live in Stony Creek? <laughs> Definitely not. Oh. 
this place is as bad as Hamilton. Well, what trust do you me. picture? Because, like you said, you've you've been to very few places. Uh, very, very, very but you few. Got, you've only been on the planet. for I've been on a years. plane twice. No planet for twelve it's years. Twelve planet, eleven actually. Okay, eleven years. And where would give me your top three places that you'd like to visit? Um. Look uh, at the map. Ooh, Think of the okay. whole world. You know what a map looks like. I, uh, it's more like surprised. Google Maps, but like maps, <laughs> I guess they exist. I, when I showed you the picture of map, I made my arms round like a globe. <laughs> He's like, the yeah. world? Yeah, yeah. No, you're like, no, we got Google Maps. We got Google Maps here. Like, Apple's coming up with a bunch of... A guy just drove by with a tractor. This is how small <laughs> town we are. He just Yo, drove by with a tractor. People are just casually driving around with tractors. Um, well, I went once upon a time, like two years ago, I went on a plane for the first time by myself to go do Tim Hortons camp. Uh, Tim Hortons is a coffee shop in Canada. Tim Hortons camp? Yeah. I, you know that Tim Hortons is a famous hockey player who died? Uh-huh, he accident. died. Well, I heard at the camp, he haunts the campers <laughs> for the whole weekend and terrorizes them with a jaundiced puppet and a butcher oh, knife. Oh, a jaundiced puppet. But yeah, they flew me out completely free for me. What they, do you mean, did you win a prize? No, it's just that I'm uh, with the Big Brother Big Sister Foundation, uh -huh. where um, I know actually you had one when you were younger. You I had it. a big sister. Yeah. She left me at a mall <laughs> <laughs> by the water fountain when I was 30. <laughs> yeah, but I, I have had a, a big sister now. I had a big now. sister up until I was 33. Yep. <laughs> so uh, actually in June, well, actually in a few days, it's going to be we have been, um, we've been paired together for about two years now, uh -huh. uh, which... She's awesome. Uh, she's actually have she's pregnant. Uh, she's having a girl, so I'm gonna meet Ant. So that's pretty cool. Have they named the the kid? Uh, not yet. They haven't really picked a name. That's exciting. Uh, it's really exciting. But yeah, they thought Darla, you out of all the thousands of people they could have picked to send to that camp, to send to Halifax, um, Nova Scotia to go to this camp for a week. Is this from your school? They're picking from your school no, or they're area? Picking, they're picking from like, I believe, I'm not really sure, the but- The Greater Horseshoe or whatever they Basically, call it. I'm pretty sure. And I got picked and my, they call it caseworker, but it sounds like I'm like a part of some murder trial. What? Uh, Wait, what? <laughs> Uh, so oh, you're ca oh, for yeah, the you're big case brother, big sister uh, foundation yeah. Did they thing, Does the they picked me. My uh, caseworker, really? Kim, uh, picked me, and she said, "I think she should go." And they're like, "Oh yeah, her. Yep, sounds good." That's so awesome. So I got sent there, and how many days? Four awesome. days. It was. We were supposed to fly out a day earlier, but there was a big snowstorm, and the plane would not have flew, and I would have died. So they had to uh, change your flight to the next day. And we were there. Oh, I remember yeah. I was talking to Grandma about that. Yeah, you were that. talking to uh, my grandmother about mm. it. So I was there for, I think, five or six days. And I think four or five nights, maybe. Did you in a cabin with other kids? It was or? a giant building uh, that had little, like... A dorm. Like, it, it basically had dorms in a it, A woman's yeah. prison. Mm-hmm. How was the yeah. food? <laughs> the food was actually really good. Okay, breakfast. What, like prison-style oatmeal? No, more like... Bacon, eggs, Does stuff the like guy, that. did they kick your beds in the morning and say, you better make some wallets or we're going to burn this place <laughs> to the ground? Again, Tim Hortons camp, not like <laughs> I killed someone camp. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm afraid that's actually a thing. There's a great horror movie called uh, Sleepaway Camp. It's pretty horrific. Dun, dun, dun. It's from the 80s, so you'll probably laugh through most of it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you like scary movies? Not, I watch them. I don't like them, but I watch them and I continue to watch them. Well, that's cool. We're going to pause for now and come okay. back with some more scary movies. Okay. And we're back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's it. There was a bit of a fiasco in there. We just uh, come out of the uh, Starbucks, Starbucks here. Some guy was complaining about the price of coffee. Saying, uh... Basically, he said, uh, Go to Tim why, Hortons, yeah, he face. Said, why is it so expensive here? We're like, Tim Hortons is so much cheaper. And the lady, I felt so bad because she's trying to explain like, oh, they have different brews and stuff. And he's like, no, 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 just, just no, you're wrong. And basically walked out. Tim Hortons. Oh, he didn't buy coffee? No, he didn't even buy anything. He just walked out. Because he couldn't <laughs> afford it, apparently. Apparently. You know, Such you an to issue. Tim Hortons, I had a $3. carrot. There was a carrot floating in my coffee. Fun, fun. In uh, Tim Hortons now. I can't drink Tim Hortons coffee. 
It's not good coffee. It Starbucks so, is better. We sound so unpatriotic right now. Especially because, uh, well, actually, Tim Hortons is no longer a Canadian uh, company. <gasps> yes. That's why it tastes like crap. <laughs> Burger King. The uh, Filipinos <laughs> moved in. Burger King bought them, and Burger King Burger is King a is dog crap. It is Have also. Have you ever eaten a Whopper? I wish I hadn't. It's like a hot I'm a vegetarian diaper. for a reason. Uh, <laughs> but is it for health reasons, or you, is it a moral issue with you? Both, you, really. Yeah. Uh, meat it does uh, cause cancer, not just heart cancer. Lung cancer, basically anywhere where it goes through your body, it could cause cancer. Sure. As well as just morals. I feel bad for these animals. Yeah, well, you have a bunch of animals. I, I do have One two bites. pets. Actually, both of them bite me. Yeah, both of them. Well, <laughs> yeah. You want, they do. <laughs> you were going to say no, no, uh, no. I, I was going to help Thor's case, but no. I'm like, nah, he bites. So you got Thor is a, bunny. a dog that's it's built like a guinea pig <laughs> and bites yeah. like an alligator. Yeah. And a ginger... <laughs> Red-headed stepchild rabbit named Igor? <laughs> his name is Thor. Oh, Thor. Thor. Sorry. Thor I think you should call bunny. him Igor because one of his eyes stick out a little bit. <laughs> no. Mm, wouldn't say that. But yeah, Thor and Sweetie Pie. Of course, I named them. I named Sweetie okay, Pie no, 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 when no, no, I was no, eight. Let's go back. Sweetie Pie. I was eight. You Sweetie can't even like yell at pie. Sweetie Pie. She was like seven weeks old. I was eight. But she bites all the time. But I didn't know she was going to bite. Yeah, but you she's your dog. But I didn't... Uh, you just let her bite? Oh, uh, Robin looking for worms. Dun, dun, dun. He'll go over to my friend Boomer's house. He's got worms. <laughs> my friend's got worms. <laughs> Isn't that awful? Quite. Ew. So, <laughs> the Starbucks coffee's too much. And then what were we talking about? I think we were the, talking about I got horror ADD, movie. a bird ran by, and I forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, Starbucks, my dog. Mm. The house of a thousand bites. <laughs> it's terrible. I don't get the reference, but okay. I have to stand out in the balcony and look at the family through the window because the animals <laughs> attack me. And you know the rabbit bites. You're not going to deny <laughs> the, that. The rabbit does bite. You know why? Because I got he, bit. But like, he doesn't like, uh, he does, yeah. He bites all the time. How, I'm trying. Does everybody in the house got a bad attitude? No, no. Uh, there's a loser mover. <laughs> you need a these bus? Guys. I gotta take this bus later downtown. T this yeah, is the, uh, the Beeline Express. The loser, uh, I don't even remember what you said. I'm so done. <laughs> I'm Lose, done. Loser mover. Yeah, that. That's I what just, they call the I bus. I just saw someone I knew and I got so confused. <laughs> oh, we gotta go someone this was way. on the loser mover. Watch, this lady's gonna run us over. All I right. saw someone on the Somebody. loser movie or a movie here. I can't. We just remember. almost caused an accident. <laughs> Did you see that? I can't even walk. Graham over here pulls up and, and then she, breaks in, in the crosswalk. Yeah. Jackass. But yeah, I saw someone on the bus that I used to know, and all of a sudden I was like, whoa. Oh, you'll hear about this in school. What were you talking <laughs> with that escape prison guy with the microphones? Yeah, we're definitely getting looks from multiple people. Yeah, but these people. They don't even know what a computer is. They're coming by on a horse and buggy. <laughs> so my mother, she's only 40, and she, does, she doesn't understand the internet. She, like, Googled her first thing by herself yesterday. Yeah, and that's it's talking about it's a purse. strange, isn't it? Vintage purses. And I'm like, stop. It's so strange for people. I've met uh, some people who don't have email addresses, no internet, never even been on a computer. Mm -hmm. I didn't, you know, I grew up. Oh, here we go. I better cross. I grew up with, like, Apple shoving things down our throats every five seconds. But you gotta admit, this stuff's pretty. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Considering I do have an iPhone, so I can't yeah, really complain. I, hey, when I had a PC, I got viruses. Yeah, oh, viruses crap. are the big issue. And but I'd be, every, every month I was taking my computer to these assholes. Y who are charging you way it. too much. Yeah, charge you too much. Or just For doing literally nothing. Uh, They're basically diagnosing you. I think they They're like, born. yeah, you, you definitely have virus. Yeah, uh, I don't know what you can do about that, but you, you definitely have one. And then they look you right in the How eye would and I pour say? a glass of water <laughs> right into your laptop. <laughs> basically. Your face. It's like there's a new issue with it now. Whoops. Yeah, it's called water damage because <laughs> I cry into it. Mm. Every night. Well, it's lovely out today. Sun's it's, creeping around. Yeah, he texts me while I'm in class and just Who's he? <laughs> you. Me? Yes. I got you. a name. Jason. Is that better? Jason texts me while I am in class. What did I say? And he's like, 
It's so cold out. Seriously, get out here. I'm dying. It is so cold out. Ah. And he's like, he's dying. And I'm just standing outside and he's facing the other way. Just, and I'm he's getting. He's at 310. I was sitting out there since 308. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have came at 308. You should have came at 310 and you wouldn't have had to wait. No, but you didn't come out until 313. Cold. Oh, sorry. I, there was some rabbit dog. I was out there by myself, and there was two <laughs> dogs in a field across the way there that were eyeballing me. I'm, not, I'm fighting a dog in front of a bunch of kids. I'll freak out. You'll start crying like Eleanor. Yeah, I'll start crying and hitting a poodle. <laughs> <laughs> accurate. Sad, but accurate. Have you been in that church? It's, yeah, I had my it's communion big. there. What's it called? Uh, the St. Francis Xavier. <laughs> that, but... Um, yeah, Catholics don't really call it that. Don't think they're allowed to. Call it what? Someone's going to get stabbed, whatever you just said. Oh, House of a Thousand Lies? Yeah, I don't think uh, many uh, Christians would uh, like that. But well, not like there's any of them watching. You're you, so. Yeah, I don't get a lot of Christians. Listening, whatever. Followers. Yeah. I, get a, I try. Out for, I try. Get, <laughs> get some intelligent people in there, too. Yeah. Most of my fans are in various places in the world. Listen to this yeah. with a rag with gasoline in it, breathing into it really heavy, mm -hmm. trying to make the pain go away. Trying to make the pain. Okay, that took a turn for the worst. So for sure. <laughs> you, without naming names. After without naming names. What was, you said that you had a favorite girlfriend of mine. Yes, she was the best person ever. Wow. She was pretty awesome. That was many years ago. Many. I was like seven. I was full of hope then, too. We were all doing pretty good, weren't we? <laughs> I guess. Now we're walking down a highway like two drifters on the <laughs> run from the law. With three random microphones talking yeah. to ourselves. Sad times. Have you been up there to the Bruce Falls and all that? Uh, the Bruce, the Trail? Bruce Falls. Bruce's Falls. <laughs> I think you're saying like That's where Bruce Niagara fell. Falls. No, <laughs> the there's, the, there's, the, there's falls. Yeah, there are falls. What do they many call falls. it? By the Devil's Punch Bowl, uh, isn't Yeah, it? The, devil's, uh, the Devil's Punch isn't Bowl. It, isn't it funny to you to know that the Devil's Punch Bowl has a huge cross above it? Yeah. It's uh, actually, my friend and I hiked up, this was like a week ago, we hiked up from the Devil's Punch Bowl to the cross. Climbed up a few mountains, but we didn't die, so that was cool. Yeah, that is cool that you didn't <laughs> we die. We didn't die, so like, all good, <laughs> no death. This guy just got kicked out of his house by his <laughs> wife. He's going to sell his tractor his and the car. Range Rover. I'm out. <laughs> Basically. He's going to get drunk and drive that through the garage. <laughs> yeah. You're not the boss of me, lady. School tomorrow. Not for me. Yeah, well, that's because That's why the show business thing I, always appealed to me because I had, you know, you got school to go and away. jobs. I always worked. I, had, I worked for a catering company when I was, like, 13. I think that was one of my first jobs, loading and unloading, and then had a lot of, uh, you know, <laughs> nine to five stuff. Well, at least I don't have All a lot to live up to. All these people are still driving home to get home from work. Yep. In it's, hell. Yeah, it's already five twelve. So. Do you have a dream job? Not really. I haven't. Pizza maker <laughs> like Andrew. Andrew actually, he does no longer work there. He oh, that's is right. taking I a heard he break. Shot I the place believe. Up. <laughs> no, uh, I don't think so. Taking I think a break he's from what? Ponzerati? Life, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well. At this point, we probably shouldn't talk shit I've about your brother. I've been here for over so. two months. I saw him once in the hallway. <laughs> in a hallway. He was delivering Chinese food. Our oh, estranged yeah. half brother, Andrew. <laughs> half brother, uh, no. Who lives in a bunker in Stony Creek. <laughs> pretty with the sure, windows honestly. Painted shut. Actually, I'm pretty sure he moved to like a high building. Uh huh. Moved out of the bunker. Stop oh, planning hilarious. for war. I was going to say, what is that guy wearing for a sec? He's on the run. <laughs> I remember seeing, I remember we were waiting at a bus stop downtown. Oh, no. Me and my friend Dave had come out of school. We're waiting, and the, this guy uh, left his bike outside a store to go in. And so you uh, this stole it? Skid, this skid Hamiltonian guy uh, just course. looked like, he looked like he climbed out from underneath a bridge, <laughs> jumps on the bike, rides the bike away, and the guy's riding, my bike, was it my that? Bike! Wasn't that in front of like a spice store? Yeah. Because I was taking the bus with you and you told me a That's story right. about that. Yeah. It still to this day makes me laugh. <laughs> because I felt bad for the guy. I, you know, I had a bike stolen 
As you stolen? Is that even a word? Stol stolen, yes, is a word. Stolen? Stolen, no. Stolen. Stolen, yes. Hey, you can't mock me. I went to school. You asked me a question. Okay, and I well, you're laughing it. while you give me the answer. Well, that's because it was a stupid question because you knew it wasn't a word. No, but I knew I was. I thought I was mispronouncing stolen. Stolen <laughs> or stolen? Stole in. Stole in. Neither of them. N Not or in. Stole. In or N. E N or I N. <laughs> <laughs> stole in. No, that stole doesn't in. sound right either. Stole. Okay, stole in. You feel better? Stole in. There's no D. It's stole. Yeah, but when in. you say in, is it N like E N or I N? Uh, it's like stolen. Stole in. It's not stole. <laughs> all one. right, someone took my freaking <laughs> bike. Are you happy? Now I'm reliving all this pain. <laughs> hey, was, you're the one who brought up your bike. I went into Canadian Tire. And up, oh, stop. You just, you went. No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked you out in front of traffic. I'm the worst uncle ever. We almost died there. <laughs> we almost this died guy actually, did you hear him speed up when yeah, we stepped like, up? Oh, no. I'll take care of this, Jim Bob. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. um. Someone took my bike. Yes. And it's hilarious to you. More like your English skills are hilarious. Well. Fun, fun. Oh. Day 37. These streetlights are crap. That's because we haven't pressed the button. Because you know why? No one walks. I'm the only person that walks on these sidewalks. Yeah, huh? basically. I've been walking up and down the street. What is it? King Street? Yeah, we're on King Street. Technically, we can go right now. I don't know if we can. I'm scared now. <laughs> Ready? Your Close your eyes. Or not. No, not now. <laughs> is it go? No, it's... it's uh, Where's come the, over here and press button? the button, genius. Well, they didn't put it even near the no, I, no, of course it didn't. I told you like a minute ago, but you weren't listening. Oh, now, that guy almost got ran over on the bike. That is a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Great job. That is a girl. <laughs> you failed again. Okay, it's red. It's I like think it's safe. Stolen. 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 Den or in? Stole in. It has been stolen. Yeah, Not that stolen. Sounds, that sounds weird too. But uh, I think we're both. Well. I'm actually getting an education as of like an hour ago, so I think I know stolen yeah. from stolen. And I was uh, having a hard time writing the word school while I was in front of your school to text it to you. That's sad. I was like, S C H O. Oh, there it is. <laughs> the, the autocorrect will do it for me. But then you just talk into your phone, and will tell you anything anyway. Yeah. Like. Directions, food, anything under the sun. You just talk yeah. to Siri. Where is the best Thai restaurant in Nebraska? Bloop. Thai restaurant in Nebraska. <laughs> Basically, mm. mom's uh, very excited that she learned how to use voice type. So. Oh. Yeah. yeah, that's all she uses now. She doesn't even text me. That's She's why just I was like voice the types and then text me. Some of the her words. Gram her, they're not even words anymore. Why does autocorrect let her do this? Like, I don't understand. You know what, autocorrect? We didn't have autocorrect. We had to think about it when <laughs> I was a kid. We had, you know, I had wooden shoes until I was 30. That's nice. What are we in, I like, used to, Poland? Used to I don't know. <laughs> no, I was, uh, I was the number one. They called me Claude. Clogged. Yeah, because I could do clod hopping. Clod hopping. Which is you just. Is that an old? Um, that's another old man thing. Old man thing. Yeah. We do a little soft shoe. Soft. Sh that's that when sounds you, dangerous. You run on the spot in your socks. <laughs> and uh, you know. See how long it takes till you fall off. Fall we off. This one called. Fall off her. Uh, we had, you know, the game Twister. Yes. Well, we'd play that game in a warehouse with a strobe light and wild <laughs> dogs would run around <laughs> and attack you. Red hand blue or left hand blue and then the pit bulls would just start ragdolling you. <laughs> fun, dog fun. Fights. Yikes. Your dog still bites way too much. Yeah, she kind of hates me. What's with the collar me. on it? It sprays perfume in its no. mouth? <laughs> no, it sprays like, I don't even know what citronella is, but it sprays it in its face so it stops barking. Does it react right away? It kind of goes, oh, my God, what just happened? It just kind of, as soon as there's, like, loud noises, it sprays her in the face and she gets super confused and oh, stops. Oh, the thing will spray her before she even barks? No, it sprays it as soon as she, like, gets riled up or starts barking. It'll be like, yo, yo, stop it. Stop it. It's basically like a, a stop sign in your face, but with, like, whatever... Citronella is? I don't even yeah. know what that is. It's probably something like pepper spray to dogs. 
Except pepper spray can blind you. I don't think this can blind you, or else I think mom would have be crying. And just she said, loves that dog. She loves that dog too much. I hate that dog. I've told her to get rid of it many times. Yeah, but she's... She doesn't like when I say that. <laughs> but when you guys are gone... Because you guys are moving out when you're 13, right? Apparently. <laughs> According where, to you. Where do you picture yourself in, let's say... Uh, okay. When you're 20. Well, I'm hoping to have a job. Okay, so and not a job. be living into a bu- in a bunker in Stony Creek. Yeah, no, that'd be nice. So you'd like to get, but you said Hamilton's crap. So where Hamilton are you gonna is go? crap. I'd like to leave as, as soon as possible. Where? Where I have no idea. I just want to get out. What do you move to? Calgary? Alaska, for all I care. Just you know get Alaska, out of here. Alaska wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> you know, Alaska. Alaska's beautiful. It's kind of cold, but like whatever. You could go whale hunting. Whale hunting. Oh, no. You could do join Greenpeace and move up to Alaska. Fun, have fun. Fishermen hate your guts. Jesus Christ. Yeah. That was a transformer that just went by. <laughs> Optimus Grime here from Hamilton. It's yep. just a garbage truck that <laughs> stares at your girlfriend and then picks a fight with you in Tim Hortons. Yeah. <laughs> Optimus Grime here. I'm from the Hammer. That's like the knockoff and, uh, Superman, too. And at the end of the night, too. he gets drunk and fights a cop. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> What's the, well, you go down, you've been downtown, right? Yeah, with you, you see, actually. Oh, that's right. That's the only time to go downtown. Is with <laughs> I try to stay away from it. Yeah, it's, it's like... You and Andrew, o- only time I go with you guys. Yeah, it's pretty... Uh, it used to be way worse. <laughs> but everything's getting addicts? a little better. Quite aware of my surroundings for age 11 now, so... Do you want to tell the audience that you got any shows coming up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> but you got a recital, right? Uh, yeah, I do. That's In cool. June sometimes. It, it is June. Well, what am I saying? Choreographed and music. Is yeah, it a play? It's, or? It's, a, it's a dance. It's a routine. A routine of dancing. I'm a dancer, yeah. So it's a, it's a big... Song performance. Do you get to sing in it? No, I'm, what? I'm afraid of people, so this is oh, bad you're enough. Oh, a little insecure about your singing. Insecure. <laughs> insecure. Little in. Yeah, you're funny. I, I don't blame you. I used to get sick before I went on stage. You're a com- what? A comedian. Yeah, but you're a comedian. That's arguable, though. <laughs> not all the shows are that funny. More Believe of them it is or like- not, some people don't like me. I wonder but why they don't know me. Yeah, like I. You don't know me. I never. You see, don't know me. You sound like some drunk ex-girlfriend who's coming back to haunt you. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. Man. <laughs> Not the Starbucks conversation. Lady. Yeah, the crazy candle lady. She was fun, and by fun I mean absolutely terrifying. And I only met her once. Mm, well, that's gonna happen. Hopefully, no one's. Sometimes I. Hopefully, bring she rabbit. doesn't show up to your show saying like, "You mentioned me in the podcast as crazy candle lady." <laughs> I'm coming to get you. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> You're going to get us all killed. Oh. You brought it up. You brought up the crazy candle lady. Let's get back to your life and stay out of mine. <laughs> okay. You got a recital? Do Where you, can people see it? Uh, never, because Where, I don't want to get it stopped. At, it's at your school? No, it's not at my school. Where is it? In a farmer's field or something? <laughs> up in Hagersville? <laughs> what the hell? It's called Hagersville. Songs from the Tire Fire. <laughs> Tire fire? There was a big fire up there about 500 years ago. 500. Is that? Oh, so that's when you were like 20, right? All right. Okay. Well, that's the show, folks. <laughs> you're being a jerk. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show, Darla. You're welcome. You're I love you very, very much, and yeah. it's always great to see you. I love you, too. Don't chase me around with knives anymore, please. No problem. I'll do my best. <laughs> I'll do oh, my best. Oh, and I'm, uh, I'll be selling steak knives door to door in the fall. Okay. Don't kiss me on the mouth. Don't ask if you're hurting me. And if you hear the safe word, stop what you're doing immediately. Do you have pantyhose?